Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In mechanics, acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity of an object with respect to time. Acceleration is one of several components of kinematics, the study of motion. Accelerations are vector quantities in that they have magnitude and direction. The orientation of an object's acceleration is given by the orientation of the net force acting on that object. The magnitude of an object's acceleration, as described by Newton's second law, is the combined effect of two causes. The net balance of all external forces acting onto that object. Magnitude is directly proportional to this net resulting force. That object's mass, depending on the materials out of which it is made. Magnitude is inversely proportional to the object's mass. The SI unit for acceleration is meter per second squared, ms minus 2, ms2. For example, when a vehicle starts from a standstill, zero velocity, in an inertial frame of reference, and travels in a straight line at increasing speeds, it is accelerating in the direction of travel. If the vehicle turns, an acceleration occurs toward the new direction and changes its motion vector. The acceleration of the vehicle in its current direction of motion is called a linear or tangential during circular motions. Acceleration, the reaction to which the passengers on board experience as a force pushing them back into their seats. When changing direction, the affecting acceleration is called radial or centripetal during circular motions. Acceleration, the reaction to which the passengers experience as a centrifugal force. If the speed of the vehicle decreases, this is an acceleration in the opposite direction of the velocity vector, mathematically a negative, if the movement is unidimensional and the velocity is positive, sometimes called deceleration or retardation, and passengers experience the reaction to deceleration as an inertial force pushing them forward. Such negative accelerations are often achieved by retro-rocket burning in spacecraft. Both acceleration and deceleration are treated the same, as they are both changes in velocity. Each of these accelerations, tangential, radial, deceleration, is felt by passengers until their relative, differential, velocity are neutralized in reference to the acceleration due to change in speed. Definition and properties average acceleration and object's average acceleration over a period of time is its change in velocity, delta v, divided by the duration of the period, delta t. Mathematically, a equals delta v delta t. Instantaneous acceleration, instantaneous acceleration, meanwhile, is the limit of the average acceleration over an infinitesimal interval of time. In the terms of calculus, instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of the velocity vector with respect to time. It equals lim delta t zero delta v delta t equals dv dt. As acceleration is defined as the derivative of velocity, v, with respect to time t and velocity, is defined as the derivative of position, x, with respect to time, acceleration can be thought of as the second derivative of x with respect to t. A equals dv dt equals d2 x dt2. Here and elsewhere, if motion is in a straight line, vector quantities can be substituted by scalars in the equations. By the fundamental theorem of calculus, it can be seen that the integral of the acceleration function at t is the velocity function vt, that is, the area under the Curve of an acceleration versus time. A versus t graph corresponds to the change of velocity. Delta v equals integral a dt. Likewise, the integral of the jerk function jt, the derivative of the acceleration function, can be used to find the change of acceleration at a certain time. Delta a equals integral j dt. Units acceleration has the dimensions of velocity, l slash t, divided by time, i.e. l t minus 2. The SI unit of acceleration is the meter per second squared, m s minus 2, or meter per second per second, as the velocity in meters per second changes by the acceleration value every second. Other forms an object moving in a circular motion, such as a satellite orbiting the Earth, is accelerating due to the change of direction of motion, although its speed may be constant. In this case, it is said to be undergoing centripetal, directed towards the center, Acceleration. Proper acceleration, the acceleration of a body relative to a free fall condition, is measured by an instrument called an accelerometer. In classical mechanics, for a body with constant mass, the vector, acceleration of the body's center of mass, is proportional to the net force vector, 
i.e. sum of all forces, acting on it. Newton's second law F equals M A equals F M, where F is the net force acting on the body, M is the mass of the body, and is the center of mass acceleration. As speeds approach the speed of light, relativistic effects become increasingly large. Tangential and centripetal acceleration, the velocity of a particle moving on a curved path as a function of. Time can be written as vt equals v t v t v t equals v t u t t with v t equal to the speed of travel along the path and u t equals v t v t, a unit vector tangent to the path pointing in the direction of motion at the chosen moment in time. Taking into account both the changing speed v t and the changing direction of ut, the acceleration of a particle moving on a curved path can be written using the chain rule of differentiation for the product of two functions of time as a equals dv dt equals dv dt ut plus v t, dt dt equals dv dt ut plus v2 r u n, where on is the unit inward. Normal vector 2. The particle's trajectory, also called the principal normal, and r is its instantaneous radius of curvature based upon the osculating circle at time t. The components at equals dv dt ut and ac equals v2 or un are called the tangential acceleration and the normal or radial acceleration or centripetal acceleration in circular motion. See also circular motion and centripetal force, respectively. Geometrical analysis of three-dimensional space curves, which explains tangent, principal, normal, and binormal, is described by the frenet Serret formulas. Special cases uniform acceleration uniform or constant acceleration is a type of motion in which the velocity of an object changes by an equal amount in every equal time period. A frequently cited example of uniform acceleration is that of an object in free fall in a uniform gravitational field. The acceleration of a falling body in the absence of resistances to motion is dependent only on the gravitational field strength g also called acceleration due to gravity. By Newton's second law, the force Fg acting on a body is given by Fg equals mg. Because of the simple analytic properties of the case of constant acceleration, there are simple formulas relating the displacement, initial and time-dependent velocities, and acceleration to the time elapsed. S t equals S0 plus V0 t plus 1 2 A t 2 equals S0 plus 1 2 V0 plus V t. TVT equals V0 plus ATV2, T equals V0, 2 plus 2 S, T minus S0, where T is the elapsed time, S0 is the initial displacement from the origin, ST is the displacement from the origin at time T, V0 is the initial velocity, VT is the velocity at time T, and is the uniform rate of acceleration. In particular, the motion can be resolved into two orthogonal parts, one of constant velocity and the other according to the above equations. As Galileo showed, the net result is parabolic motion, which describes, e.g., the trajectory of a projectile in vacuum near the surface of Earth. Circular motion in uniform circular motion, that is moving with constant speed along a circular path, a particle experiences an acceleration resulting from the Change of the direction of the velocity vector, while its magnitude remains constant. The derivative of the location of a point on a curve with respect to time, i.e. its velocity, turns out to be always exactly tangential to the curve, respectively orthogonal to the radius in this point. Since in uniform motion the velocity in the tangential direction does not change, the acceleration must be in radial direction, pointing to the center of the circle. This acceleration constantly changes the direction of the velocity to be tangent in the neighboring point, thereby rotating the velocity vector along the circle. For a given speed v, the magnitude of this geometrically caused acceleration, centripetal acceleration, is inversely proportional to the radius r of the circle and increases as the square of this speed, a c equals v 2 r. For a given angular velocity omega, the centripetal acceleration is directly proportional to radius r. This is due to the dependence of velocity v on the radius r. v equals omega r, expressing centripetal acceleration vector in polar components, where r is a vector from the center of the circle to the particle with magnitude equal to this distance, 
and considering the orientation of the acceleration towards the center, yields a C equals minus V2 RRR. As usual in rotations, the speed V of a particle may be expressed as an angular speed with respect to a point at the distance R as omega equals VR. Thus, AC equals minus omega 2R. This acceleration and the mass of the particle determine the necessary centripetal force directed toward the center of the circle as the net force acting on this particle to keep it in this uniform circular motion. The so-called centrifugal force appearing to act outward on the body is a so-called pseudo-force experienced in the frame of reference of the body in circular motion due to the body's linear momentum, a vector tangent to the circle of motion. In a non-uniform circular motion, i.e., the speed along the curve path is changing, the acceleration has a non-zero component tangential to the curve and is not confined to the principal normal, which directs to the center of the osculating circle, that determines the radius. R for the centripetal acceleration. The tangential component is given by the angular acceleration alpha, i.e., the rate of change alpha equals omega of the angular speed omega times the radius r. That is, at equals r alpha. The sine of the tangential component of the acceleration is determined by the sine of the angular acceleration, alpha, and the tangent is always directed at right angles to the radius vector. Coordinate systems in multidimensional Cartesian coordinate systems. Acceleration is broken up into components that correspond with each dimensional axis of the coordinate system. In a two-dimensional system, where there is an x-axis and a y-axis, corresponding acceleration components are defined as a x equals dvx, slash dt equals d2x slash dt2, a y equals dv y slash dt equals d2 y slash dt2. The two-dimensional acceleration vector is then defined as a equals a x, a y. The magnitude of this vector is found by the distance formula as a equals a x2 plus a y2. In three-dimensional systems where there is an additional z-axis, the corresponding acceleration component is defined as a z equals dvz slash dt equals d2z slash dt2. The three-dimensional acceleration vector is defined as a equals a x, a y. A z, with its magnitude being determined by A equals A x2 plus A y2 plus A z2. Relation to relativity, special relativity, the special theory of relativity, describes the behavior of objects traveling relative to other objects at speeds approaching that of light in vacuum. Newtonian mechanics is exactly revealed to be an approximation to reality, valid to great accuracy at lower speeds. As the relevant speeds increase toward the speed of light, Acceleration no longer follows classical equations. As speeds approach that of light, the acceleration produced by a given force decreases, becoming infinitesimally small as light speed is approached. An object with mass can approach this speed asymptotically, but never reach it. General relativity, unless the state of motion of an object is known, it is impossible to distinguish whether an observed force is due to gravity or to acceleration. Gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects. Albert Einstein called this the equivalence principle and said that only observers who feel no force at all, including the force of gravity, are justified in concluding that they are not accelerating. Conversions.